Welcome back. Well, Kaidi, let me ask you, I mean, there's this talk, I mean, Labour has spoken about it. They uh, say they're going to vehemently oppose any plan on the part of the National Assembly to remove the question or the issue of minimum wage from the exclusive list to the concurrent list. What do you think of that? Well, the truth must be told. One of the reasons why everybody is agitating that, that some things must be moved from the concur from the exclusive list to concurrent list is for devolution of power. But there are some things that it will be a, it will be societal to move from exclusive to, to concurrent list. Like for example, the issue of defence and some other issues, particularly when it comes to this minimum wage. Too, I'm of the opinion that there will be no need to do that. Doing that will bring anarchy. Doing that will bring lawlessness in this country. And again, we have to be sincere. When it comes to worker welfare, it is more of issue of security, national security to the nation. When you talk of issue of workers' welfare, it is more of even national intelligence agency need to be very uh, interested in it. Why do I say this? Anytime you are writing anything about the, about, about the country, Anybody that want to do any research on such country to know their thinking must first think of what is their minimum wage. I believe our government, government is supposed to be worried and I believe they're supposed to be ashamed. Each time they go out of the country for anybody to ask them how much is your minimum wage and for them to, to think that their minimum wage is as low as $30. You can now imagine what we are talking about. Moving it there, I don't think it's possible because if, again, if you have to move it, it will cause a lot of problems. Nigeria happened to be a signatory to a lot of international treaties. And most of these treaties has to do with work relations, workers' welfare. It has to do with industrial relations and all. Now the question is, if we move it to concurrent list, are we now going to say that each of these states will now be entering to draw such treaties? And again, we seem to forget some things. When we talked about workers' welfare, when we talked of minimum wage, it is that's, it not only with this government or state government. We have employers. We have private sectors, private employer. For, for example, I'm an employer. I pay minimum wage, 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 wage to my workers. And you cannot expect me that because of a state government having one issue, because of issue of one or two state government, they want to move it to concurrent. It will not work. And again, let's look at it very well. Recently, we just, we just, I mean, the constitution was amended to, to so that they can, they, 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 we can have the National Industrial Court. Are we now going to say that when you move that one down to that point, each of these states we have national industrial court. And again, let us look at our, look at our international, uh, international partners. ILO, that's International Labor Organization, UNITAD, PITAD, and all those people. How will they, how will, are we now going to mean that if they want to discuss, they will now be discussing with the individual state? No, this will not work. That's why I said we bring anarchy. And it will affect the security of the government of the country. Let, let me and come I in. wish the National Security Advisor would take note to advise the the, 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 the House, that's the House of uh, the House of Rep and the National Assembly. They need to be advised to know what to touch and what not to touch. Well, let me, let, let me let me bring you to your notice now. This is what the House of Reps is saying. The leader Yakubu Dogara said this. He said, while commending you, I'm quoting this now. While commending you for your commitment to the service and building of our nation. I wish to assure you that the National Assembly remains committed to the passage of the National Minimum Wage Bill when presented by the Executive. What do you make of this statement? What I make of the statement is I don't really know why. Maybe I'm afraid. The girl, I mean, not being a lawyer, a senior lawyer, need to be more informed when it comes to this issue of Minimum Wage, wage, wage Act as it is. It has been passed, and in that act, every five five years must subject to review. What I believe Dugara should be talking about here is to ask for the review of it and to bring it. And if not only that, the executive, there is not only the executive that should bring it. One act has been there. All that is what is required now is for this for the review. And if the, the executive is lagging, 
I don't see any reason why the National Assembly should should, should take the bull by the horn and do the, the desirable in, in this circumstance. The workers, you are blaming the workers at some point, saying that they have not been able to live up to par in government government to uh, really focus and get their demands. You are not by any chance talking about a revolution, were you? Well, certainly we are not talking of revolution. But again, we have to do one thing. Revolution takes different, different genetic, different styles. I will never talk to a bloody revolution, but I will talk about revolution, systematic one within the system. It is allowed. Revolution is a change, and it is for them to sit up and to, 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 and, and to marshal their position. Look, everything about politics is all about interest. Today, I'm here to see any interest higher than to workers, any interest to workers higher than their welfare, to their salaries, to their wages, and co. And I believe, and again, as a former national secretary of a, of a political party, I've, I've have interaction with other political party. I'm here to see any organized institution of such political institution like Nigerian workers that is organized sector. But unfortunately, they seem not to get it right. They seem not to understand the kind of power they have within the, within themselves. They seem not. And that's why I used to raise the issue of what happened, the miracle that happened in Ondo State. It's worker that made it happen. That's why you see that somebody that nobody expect to be a governor became became a governor twice and, and ran quite well. Right, what I'm saying is this workers when it comes to bargaining they have the they have the numbers they have the power and they are well organized and it's expected that such organized they, they should organize themselves in such a way to form and to let the power that be dance to their tune now it let me come possible. in at that point is that where the question of a labor party comes into play Well, I, I wouldn't really like to dabble into politics of Labour Party today, but one thing I need to raise is this. I, I happen to be one of those that so much believe in Labour Party, and that is why some of someone, someone like me found myself there and I became the National Secretary. But unfortunately, very unfortunately, from one thing that one may not understand and one may not be able to explain here, it seemed to be some disconnect between the Labour Party and the organized labor. That's the workers. And that's why you see that today, Nigerian, we have a labor, a party, quote and unquote, belonging to labor, labor party. But unfortunately, no executive of organized labor, no nobody that has anything to do with, with, with organized labor, the NLC, TUC, they are not there now. Whereas the constitution of the party gives them slot, they're supposed to sit in national working in all the executive of the party. But unfortunately, they are not there. And these are the thing, one, one of the things we are saying. It is for them to raise up, to wake up from, from the slumber, let me use that word, and to that, even... That's a, a, an interesting proposition, uh, but I'm afraid we'll have to anchor at that point. But I'm sure in the days ahead, we'll look into that matter and see... How do we correct whatever went wrong at that point? We we'll have to thank you for talking to us today. Kaide Ajilo is a former National Secretary of Labour Party and also a legal practitioner.